Article 26, shall the Town of Hampton uh, raise and appropriate the sum of $44,662 for the purpose of hiring a full-time assistant town clerk. Majority vote required. Note, the Warren article contains the cost for 39 weeks from April 1, 2018 to December 31, 2018. Total yearly cost is $59,549. Uh, the article is recommended by the Board of Selectmen 4-0, recommended by the Budget Committee 5-3. to three. Fiscal impact note, the estimated 2018 tax impact on $44,662 is 1.3 cents per thousand dollars of valuation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 26? Moved by Ms. Barnes, seconded by Mr. Bridal. Is there anyone who wishes to be heard uh, on Article 26? Our town clerk, Ms. Seifert. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. My name is Jane Seifer, 29 Epping Ave, and I am the town clerk here in Hampton. Article 26 is a request for an additional full-time position within the town clerk's office. I would like to begin by giving you an overview of the functions that we perform in the town clerk's office. We do motor vehicle registrations, boat registrations, dog licensing, OHRV registrations, hunting and fishing licenses, vital records and marriage licenses, voter registration, election administration, which includes day of and preparation months, bef months before, including absentee ballots, beach and transfer station decals, oaths of office, filing of articles of agreement, filing of burial transit permits, filing of wetlands applications, record retention, and notary services, and I'm sure there are more that I've forgotten. Why we need another full-time position. The days of it only being busy on, the, on Mondays and the first and last days of the month are over. Revenue in the town clerk's office in 2017 increased by $256,451 from 2016. August 28th was our busiest day on record. On that day, our revenue was eight times our 2017 daily average. Lines are to the door on most days. During these overly busy times, staff is unable to even use the restroom until their lunch break, and in my, in my eyes, that is unacceptable. Some motor vehicle statistics for you to think about, which represents approximately 90% of the transactions we perform. 11 years ago in 2007, when I was first elected town clerk, there were 18,638 vehicles registered in town. In 2017, we processed 20,764 vehicles. The number of transactions in 2007 were 18,891. In 2017, we processed 21,000. 49. Total revenue collected in 2007 was $3.5 million. $2.7 million of that to be town funds. And this 2017's total was almost $4.8 million, with $3.5 million of that to be town funds. That is an increase of $1 million over a 10-year period. Our staffing at the windows is exactly the same as it was in 2007. Not only have the numbers increased, but we also provide many more services than we did in 2007, including OHRV registrations, hunting and fishing licenses, and our reg registered voters have increased significantly, significantly up over 3,000 voters as well. Unfortunately, there isn't a report available to monitor the number of phone calls received, transferred to other departments providing numerous pieces of information to phone customers per day. We have two part-timers. One works Monday and Tuesday, 17 hours total. The other works Wednesday through Friday, 21 hours total. One can work, if available, one additional day and a half. The other, if available, can work only one extra day beyond her scheduled <coughs> days. This becomes a problem when a full-timer or part-timer takes vacation, is out sick, or there is a family emergency. These scenarios have happened three times over the past few months. One employee is away on vacation, another is off due to a family member having surgery. There were three of us scheduled for this particular day. I was already covering one of the positions, which is time away from my duties at my desk. One of the other two scheduled for that day had a family emergency over the weekend, which required her to take Monday and Tuesday off. I was covering the bookkeeper, which keeps the window closed until mid-morning. That left one window open until the bookkeeping was completed. Then, of course, the cold and flu went through our office, and two employees had it at the same time, which reduced the number of windows open for three days down to one in the morning and two in the afternoon. On a Monday, not a good scenario. 
Our office has been running thin for several years now, and it has come to a point that we have no choice but to do something about it. We have tried to band-aid the situation for the past couple of years, but the time has come to fix the root of the problem. I would just like to say that a part-timer will not be useful to me at all, as they cannot work any more hours than the 29.5 policy allows. To add to the scenario, if this had been during election time, it would have been disastrous, as I, as I am tied to my desk during elections and have zero time to assist at the windows. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Thank you, Ms. Seifer. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Mr. Jones. If you look at the bottom of this article, you'll see the Budget Committee supported this article five to three. I was among the three in opposition, and I think I am duty-bound to you to explain why. As we just heard uh, Jane say, she's had no staff increases since 2007, or changes, I believe she was using the word changes, uh, but that's not entirely true. In 2009, as she testified before the Budget Committee, in 2009 she changed the definition of her staff from full-time of 40 hours to 35 hours. At that time, town clerk was closed on Friday afternoon. Oddly enough, that constitutes five hours. She says that part-time won't help, but the truth is she's got a couple part-timers now. And when you add up their hours between the two part-timers she has, they total 45 hours. So yeah, if you add two part-timers, you'll actually get more hours out of them one, than one full-timer at a 35-hour full-time rate, which is currently how that staff is being managed. It is not a requirement, as some have reported or said, in the union contract. The union contract is completely silent about the definition of full-time relative to these clerks. This is entirely a town clerk management decision to manage your staff at only 35 hours for full-timers and close for five hours on Friday afternoon. And that is why I, among others, on the Budget Committee oppose this Warren article. We think there is room for more than a Band-Aid with the existing resources, and once they're fully exhausted, then we're happy to add additional staff. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Um, Mr. Griffin? I would just like to say that I am in support also of this article. Um, a lot of people think it's up to the Board of Selectmen to uh, change the hours of uh, the town clerk's office, but the town clerk being a uh, elected official, she is in charge of that. She does a great job, and I'm very much in support. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Griffin. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 26? Seeing none, Article 26 will appear on the ballot as printed. 